Hey, Barry Mitchell, be sure to stay tuned for my interview with author, TV host, podcast host, comedian, Chris Hardwick. He does it all, coming up soon on World News Now. Everybody's heard about the nerd. Nerd, nerd, nerd. Wait, you you gotta nerd pay for that, word. you know that, right? Don't you know about the nerd? Yeah, good. What were your early favorite video games? The arcade games? Uh, well, when Space Invaders first came out, that was pretty revolutionary. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then, let's see, uh, Pac-Man, Galaga, Robotron was a great game. I love the Tron cabinet game. Um, Defender was really great. Uh, there were Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Like, there were just, there were a million and a half. The, the original Mario Brothers. Yes. Uh, I, loved all, I loved all those. T tell me about the difference between a nerd and a nerdist. Well, the, the nerdist, I, I guess, when I started the website a few years ago. And what is that website? Nerdist.com. Uh, anyway, when I started the website a few years ago, I kind of had this, I, I sort of realized that um, when I was growing up, it was not a cool thing to be a nerd. Even going into the 90s, people considered nerd culture too niche. And then uh, a few years ago, I realized, oh, wait a minute, you know, everyone has uh, smartphones, DVRs, yeah. DSLR cameras, laptops, desktops. You know, people, uh, people know what the edge network is. People now know what 3G is. I mean, I realized, like, nerd culture has really swooped in and taken over, and people are living complete alternate uh, alternate digital lifestyles online. <laughs> and I realized that nerd culture had really taken over pop culture. And so this idea of nerdism was, you know, number one, sort of an ideology of like, it's okay, it's okay to be passionate about the things that we, that we care about. And more specifically, I think nerdist is a creative nerd. Like we've come out of a culture where 20, 30 years ago, we were just consuming things like Star Wars, Star Trek, or what have you. And now because technology has made things so simple, People can create their own stuff. So a, a nerdist is like a, like a passionate creator as well. Fan fiction. Exactly, fan fiction. That's a perfect example. Perfect example. Mm. In the nerdist way, you talk about how to help nerds reorganize their life. For real. Yes, sir. The body section is really about how I, I completely rejected fitness all my life because I associated that with jocks. But uh, like six, seven years ago, I kind of realized like, well, maybe it's time that I should start taking care of myself a little bit for later in life. How do you do that? I, I, I work out a couple times a week, not too intense. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, some light activity. I, you know, I work with a trainer when I can. Um, I'm sensing workout tape, the Nerdist workout tape. Oh my God, leg warmers, headbands. Mm, you're laughing, that's gonna be your next project. I should totally do it. Yeah, you Nerdicize. really should. Nerdicize. Nerdicize. Why are we not doing this right now, Barry? You know, music with an accordionist in the background. <laughs> You'll be toned if you just play both ends against the middle. Uh, yes, of course, yes. oh my God, of course. Oh we my need God, YouTube. Soundtrack. We've okay. just made $10 million right mm -hmm. here. And See, this is what I do. I, I, this is what I do in the book, I give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs>